think she might get kind of lonesome with that soldier boy of hers gone. I wish she were mine. Every time I look at her, I wish I had just such a little girl. This has been a terrible tragedy for Mrs. Daigle if she's lost her only child. That know-it-all Monica Breed love. I don't think nobody knows anything but her. He has the mind of an eight-year-old, but he's managed to produce a family, so I came along. Give me those shoes back. Oh, no, I got them shoes here where nobody but me can find them. Better give me those shoes, they're mine. Give them back to me. I believe you did it. What do you give me if I give you a basket of kisses? <laughs> I'll give you a basket of hugs. <laughs> I'll miss your hugs. <laughs> well, I'm not letting the slightest agree. Really knows what she's told, if you don't mind me being presumptuous. I had a long talk with that guard since I saw you last. And that was a long, interesting conversation. He said he saw Rhoda on the pier just before Claude was found among the pilings. She knows something all right. Did you have anything? I don't care how small it was. Did you have anything to do with the way Claude got drowned? What makes you ask that, <laughs> Mother? <laughs> Now, look me in the eye and tell me the truth, because I must know. No, Mother, I didn't. You're not going back to the Fern School next year. They don't want you anymore. Okay. I'm going to call Miss Fern and have her come over here. You think I lied to you her? You did lie to her. But not to you, Mother, not to you. You know something? Miss Fern dyes her hair. And Rhoda's a sweet, perfectly sound little girl. Is she father, is she? Run, Daddy! Next to Daddy, you lift me up best. Why do you look at me? I just want to see your face. <laughs> 